FCS parents, hope you guys have had a great couple of weeks. I was not able to do a Thursday Thoughts last week. We were at retreat up in the Redwoods. Uh, I was going to try to do a video while we were up there, but our schedule on that Thursday was just jam-packed, and I literally had no time to get anything else done. Uh, we were busy doing all kinds of great stuff. Uh, we were up there, we did lots of great activities like, um, let's see, we did a vertical obstacle course called the Y-axis. Uh, the kids did great. I, th I think some of the kids uh, surprised themselves. We're talking, when I talk vertical, I mean like 30 feet up in the air, these kids were going up there. They were harnessed in and everything was safe. We, they were all wearing helmets and all that kind of stuff, uh, but it was a lot of fun. Uh, we did some team building exercises, some trust exercises, uh, leadership exercises, uh, and then we did some uh, hatchet and knife throwing, which was great. Now, the middle schoolers tuckered out pretty quickly, but the high schoolers for two straight hours were throwing knives and hatchets. Uh, I don't know what crazy guy decided to put knives and hatchets in the hands of teenagers, uh, but we all had a great time throwing those things. Uh, and I have to say, Mr. Fortney's not too bad at throwing a hatchet himself. So we had a great time up there doing that. Uh, but then uh, the main thing we went up there for was for our Bible study sessions. And we spent a lot of time in Bible study. In fact, the very first night on Wednesday night when we were there, uh, we went over three hours in a Bible study session. And usually I would not recommend going that long uh, with teenagers. However, these kids are thirsty for God's word and they were engaged and they were listening. They were participating. They were giving me feedback. We were discussing all kinds of things. We broke into small groups and had discussions there. Uh, we had time for worship. It was a great time overall. Over three hours that first night. That was the longest session. Uh, several, uh, several sessions went well over two hours. Uh, one of them, another one over two and a half hours. But uh, we had a great time. And again, these kids are thirsty for God's word. Uh, we dug in deep about uh, what it means to be different. And God calls us to be different. We are not to be like the world. We're to be set apart. And so we talked a lot about what that means in, in our current culture today to be different than everyone else. How can we walk our life that is honor, walk a life that is honoring to God and while we're in the world, not be of the world? Uh, so lots of great discussions about that. We talked about identity and what it means to be different in our identity. Uh, who, we, who we are is not what we do or our, our traits or our characteristics. Uh, it, it is, our identity is found in Jesus Christ. And so we, we talked a lot about that kind of stuff. And uh, again, I was just really impressed with the kids. In fact, talking to them on Monday about their favorite parts, uh, worship and the Bible study sessions were their favorite parts of the week, overwhelmingly. Uh, so, you know, they had free time to play basketball and volleyball, but uh, let me tell you, the kids were engaged. So we had a great time. But here at school, uh, the elementary students were still doing great stuff as well. Our staff took care of the kids very well while they're here, while the rest of us were gone, including in chapel. They had a great chapel last Friday. Uh, Miss Ruiz led worship. And then Mrs. Branch spoke. I heard she did a great job. In fact, you know, she'll probably speak a few more times in chapel uh, because she did so great last Friday. She doesn't know that yet, but uh, she'll probably speak a few more times in chapel throughout the year. So uh, overall, it was a, a great week last week. We now have, we've had another great week this week. You may have heard we've had a few internet problems. Um, that kind of happens sometimes when you update your systems. Uh, for whatever reason, you update stuff and all of a sudden nothing wants to communicate anymore. So we've been working through those problems. Uh, hopefully we've, we've got most of those problems solved and we should be back to normal here uh, real soon. Uh, but that was been probably the biggest uh, event of the week is all the internet problems. So as teachers, obviously we've got a lot of online uh, function and a lot of online curriculum that we use. Uh, so teachers had to get a little creative this week in how they had to do a few things with uh, some of the internet being down. But uh, the kids are still learning, we're still moving forward in their education, and things are still going great. A few things on the calendar I do want to remind you of. Uh, Color Run is coming up September 30th. Uh, if you want to raise money uh, to help lower your tuition by getting uh, pledges or donations for your kids for the Color Run, uh, please make sure you get those in, uh, get those pledges in, and then after the kids run, after they figure out how many laps they do, uh, you can collect that uh, money for their pledges. Uh, but the Color Run will be on September 30th. That'll be after chapel. Uh, I'm guessing around from around 10 to 11 a.m. here on campus. We've got a course here on campus. It's about a quarter mile long. The kids will run. We'll have the color station. We'll have the chance to have colored cornstarch thrown on them. Uh, we've done this for years now, and it's always a great hit. The kids enjoy it. So that'll be September 30th. Uh, and then the end of the quarter is coming up on October 6th. That's a Thursday. And the quarter ends on a Thursday because we have a winter break. We have, actually, it's a fall break. Uh, October 7th through the 10th, there is no school. That's a four-day weekend. October 7th through the 10th, 
no school. Be prepared for that. Uh, it's on the calendar. Uh, but we take an extra break there. It gives us a little time to do some work on that Friday to get grades together. Uh, everybody get their grades in, uh, compiled, so we can get those uh, first quarter progress reports out as quickly as possible. So again, four day weekend uh, from October 7th through the 10th, there is no school. All right, uh, those are just a few things on the calendar coming up uh, very quickly. I, I can't believe the first quarter is almost over. The year is already flying by. We're most of the way through September already. October will be here before we know it. Uh, and again, uh, God is doing great things in your kids. Uh, if there's anything I discovered uh, on the retreat is that uh, God is working in these kids, sometimes in ways that we don't you know, see very obviously. But uh, when you get these kids away from certain things, get them talking, asking for their prayer requests, uh, some kids, you know, they start to talk about things. And some of our kids are dealing with some pretty serious things. And so uh, pray for our kids, all of them, not just our middle school and high school kids, our, our elementary kids, our preschool kids. Uh, pray for them. Uh, this world is not an easy place to live. Again, we're, we're in this world, but we're not to be of this world. And so sometimes separating ourselves from that is hard. As parents, you, you know this, it's hard to do that sometimes. And so we need to pray that the Holy Spirit will guide us in how to do that the best way possible so we can draw nearer to Christ and not nearer to the things of this broken world. All right, I uh, hope you guys have a fantastic weekend. Uh, one more thing, uh, I'm actually gonna be gone. In fact, by the time you watch this, I'll probably be out of the country already. And that's because uh, one of our sons is getting married this weekend, so Mrs. Fortney and I will not be here uh, for the end of this week and the beginning of next week. Uh, we'll actually be out of the country, uh, so pray for us as we travel. Uh, but uh, we're very excited that one of our sons is getting married this weekend, and it'll be a great time celebrating that. But if you try to get a hold of me over the next few days, uh, that's why you won't be able to get a hold of me. However, our staff is here. Uh, they do a great job. They're more than capable of handling any issues that might come up. So please call the office or your child's individual teacher and those teachers and staff can certainly help you with all of your needs. All right, hope you guys have a fantastic weekend. God bless.